Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I want to talk about a very special camera. It's a Pearl. And it's a Pearl. It looks like the shutter speed, sh shutter release should be here, but it's actually the lens opening. And these were made by Konica, or they have a Konica heritage, because they have a Coney Rapid shutter and they have a Konica lens on them. Kanisha Carrara, but it's like a Konica. Anyway, Konica has something to do with this camera. And I wasn't looking to buy this camera, but it's a 120 camera and it shoots 645. So when I look through the viewfinder, I actually see a vertical frame and it's going to shoot 16 frames vertically across this piece of 120 film. And this was in mint condition at a little pawn shop. I went to a little pawn shop and I asked them if they had any old film cameras knowing that they don't even take film cameras. And they said, yeah, we don't, we don't take them. And I said, okay, I just don't know. Sometimes people end up with a Leica. Oh yeah, if we found a Leica, we would take that. But, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, there's this one antique camera in the front. It's like, oh, what's that? And then he had no idea what it was. And I didn't really either. I never heard of a Pearl. I guess it was a Pearl 1, a Pearl 2, and a Pearl 3. The Pearl 2 has a rangefinder, whereas the 1 didn't. And what I liked about it was it's a small 645 camera and I think he had it marked for $45 and I said how about I'll give you 20 he goes yeah okay I'll, I'll, I'll just give you 20 cash and I knew he's just going to put that right into the till and into his pocket probably because it's the kind of camera he has no idea what it is or how it works and I was able to test it out and the shutter works and I like the idea of a 645 camera in my hand like this and Again, it's not the kind of thing that I expect to see, and I don't really have a good folder that I can use for 120. I would like to have a really one folder that, you know, was my 120 folder that I could keep with me, and I don't have one. So this one has a 75 millimeter f 4.5 lens. There was a, a ability to upgrade to a 3.5 lens, I think, on some of these, and this one does, doesn't have it. But for $20, what do you what do you worry about? It's a good deal, and uh, it's in really nice condition. Has the leather case complete with the address of the former owner. Lots of writing. People used to write inside their cases. At least it's better than engraving the cameras. It's got a shutter speed up to a five hundredths of a second and down to one second. And as I said, it's a 4.5 leaf shutter camera. I've never seen one of these before. Made in Japan. Seems like a pretty decent build quality. And again, if you find things like this at a bargain, Ask for things like that. If you go to a shop and they don't have anything that looks like film, ask them. Sometimes they don't think to mention it or they don't realize what they have. And then you put it into their consciousness and they go, yeah, yeah, we do have something. That's always a possibility. So be aware of that they do sometimes have things and sometimes they're not even thinking about it until you bring it to their attention. And you can find some cool bargains. So I have film in both. This one and the Retina 3C I talked about, I have film in both of them. I just both picked both up recently and I'm going to run a raw film through them and see how they work, make sure I can trust them, that they're gonna be sharp, they're gonna be properly exposed and all that. All right, I'll say photography talk, the Pearl, Pearl 2. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you had any good deals that you found recently, put those in the comments below. And if you can su support, please hit the Patreon. And thanks so much for watching. We'll talk photography again soon.